right, before we dive into the plan with me, I want to show you a little behind the scenes of what my desk looks like whenever I am planning. So whenever I do the videos that are voiceovers like this one, oh hi by the way, I'm Ashley, hello. Um, <laughs> whenever I do the voiceover videos, I normally watch Netflix, which is why my laptop is out. And my office tends to become a disaster, at least my desks become a disaster. And um, I'll take you a little bit closer here and, and just kind of show you everything. I know I love seeing behind the scenes stuff, so I'm sure you guys do too. There's my ring light. Um, so I just wanted to share that fun little behind the scenes with you guys. All right, let's get into the actual plan with me. In this, uh, for this spread, I'm using the uh, Sophisticated Florals and Modern Year stickers. Both of these stickers are from the Happy Planner. Actually, all of my planner supplies are from the Happy Planner. Things like my scissors and pins and stuff like that's not from the Happy Planner, but as far as like my planners, covers, dividers, stickers, all of that stuff is all from the Happy Planner. So I am planning this week for my catch-all planner. And what that means is I literally put anything and everything in here. And I've always said if I had to eliminate all of my planners and only have one, it would definitely be a catch-all just because it can be generalized and you can put everything that you would need in one planner. Although it would be hard to get rid of my fitness one because I don't think I could do fitness with my catch-all. There wouldn't be, I'd, well, I could use a big planner for that and I think that would probably a lot with enough room for meal tracking, workouts, water, all that stuff, and then also everything else that I have going on, but I don't know that I would have much room for stickers. So I might have to keep two. It would might it might have to be like my catch all my fitness. I don't know what made me think of that. But anyways, this is my catch all planner. Like I said, anything and everything goes inside of here. And I did do a little bit of pre planning for this video. So I kind of knew where boxes and different things needed to go. And if you guys know me, pre planning is like my jam. It's something that I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. Also on this what I'm doing here, on the sheets that have clear stickers, I like to take that backing off and throw it away. Because if I decide that I don't want to use one of those clear stickers and you go to put it back on, then it gets stuck to the backing of that sticker book and then it's a mess trying to get it off of there. So I like to, um, on my clear sticker sheets in the sticker books, I like to peel that off of there and throw it away. So I was sitting here chit chatting with you guys and I wasn't even thinking and as I was talking to you I realized this is going really slow and then I realized I forgot to speed it up. So we are now speeding things up and the reason why I love doing like I love to speed things up well, one it, I'm not the person that can sit down and quickly hash out a planner spread like if I have to I can it's usually not my favorite like I just like to sit down and take my time I also like to watch Netflix especially on this particular night my kiddos stayed all night with my mom and dad thank goodness for grandparents I am so grateful for my parents and um them keeping my kiddo because sometimes we need a break and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that mamas if you need a break you need a break it's all good uh but anyways um I just like chilled in my office sat at my desk was in no hurry and I was watching some Netflix all right so I went and I got some uh parchment paper that I had and I went ahead and I picked out which stickers that I was going to use I initially didn't do that usually I don't I actually bought the parchment paper last year in 2020 to use for planner spreads and then I put it up in my kitchen and totally forgot about it. I should have not even put it in the kitchen. It should have come in my office because that's what I bought it for. So I remember that I had it and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to use that. So I got the parchment paper. By the way, if you're new, parchment paper, like your stickers will not stick to it. Like you can put your stickers down, you can see through it enough that you can see your spread and it acts as a guide. So it's really nice to have, but I decided for this one that I was um, that I would do that and I would pull out which stickers that I wanted to use trying to help speed this process up a little bit more although it did it did still take a little while but again I was not in a hurry and um, I personally don't mind whenever my videos are a little bit longer my plan with me is because I love getting on here and chatting with you guys it's just fun I really wish like sometimes I, I just like I really wish you guys could talk back to me I'm sure you do if you're anything like me whenever you watch YouTube videos you are actually talking back to the person because I do that too um, so I hope that you are at home and you are replying to me say hello hi hello um, I hope you answered me <laughs> some of you guys are like I'm getting the heck off of this video this girl is crazy um, that's all right I accept that but anyways okay let's actually talk about the planner spread shall we the box in the center quick tip for you guys 
what you do on one sh one side of the uh, spread, try to do that on the other side. You can obviously change it up a little bit, but do you see how I did the long box on both sides? That kind of creates that balance and everything um, flows a little bit better from there. So on the left side, that box down the center is going to be just like a general checklist of things that I need to get done. Those are not necessarily day specific. Same thing with the longer box on the right side. Now the smaller boxes that you see me putting around, those are those are for day specific things. Now when I'm planning inside of a horizontal planner, I like to think of it as in thirds. So as in three different sections. The first section is typically for things that are like schedule wise. The middle section is either a checklist, like a to-do list or whatever, or decorating. And then the third section is vice versa. So it's either the checklist or decorating, whichever one I didn't do in the center, if that makes sense. Now with this spread, I did put some day specific tasks. Um, I didn't do them in that first section. So like if you look on Wednesday, you see how the two little layered boxes at the bottom of that log one, those are day specific things. And normally I would put them under where it says Wednesday, but I changed it. I changed it up here. I got real wild with things, didn't I? <laughs> but um, that's a tip for you if you use a horizontal planner. Try to think of it in thirds. It really helps kind of guide your planning because I know sometimes when you sit down to do these, it does get a little bit overwhelming and you're not even sure where to start. So just take my as soon as I seen those hexagon stickers, I knew I wanted to do a little bit of layering with them. Now for the florals, I am using the rose gold florals inside of the... Um, Yes, my chair is squeaky. I am sorry if you can hear that. The rose gold florals inside of the uh, Sophisticated Floral Sticker Book. I had to look. I couldn't remember which one they come out of. But anyways, I know with the any type of gold foiling, we all tend to avoid it because it doesn't, it's like really, really, really hard to take photos of, right, for Instagram. But I want to challenge you. Don't make spreads based off of whether or not it'll show up well in a photo for Instagram because for the longest time I avoided any type of foiling in my planner mainly for that reason right and then I started using more of the rose gold foiling and I kind of got rid of that mindset of like well it doesn't I can't take a picture with it so you can't really showcase how pretty it is so I'm not going to use it no 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 I got rid of that and now I've been loving the rose gold foiling the copper foiling too the rose gold is my favorite but I want to challenge you to use it just try it inside of your planner and you know what here's the best thing with anything that you try in your planner, it's only there for seven days. So even if you don't like it, if you can get through seven days with it, that is awesome. There's been times that I've created spreads that I didn't even, I was like, man, I, I just wish this week was over. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to start in this week because I didn't like my spread. And sometimes with that, you can use daily sheets. You can um, even recreate, like, or uh, grab another planner spread or wait a minute, let me rephrase that. You can grab another planner that you have and use a different layout for that week if that's the case. But I, I just wanna encourage you to try it. Give the foiling a chance. I know it's hard to take photos of and I know that's why many of us avoid it, but it really is pretty once you actually use it. And you know what? What really matters inside of your planner is that you like the spread. So if you try it and you love it, who cares if it's hard to take a photo of, right? Just do your best with the photo, edit your best, and then post it and go like it's all good I just want to encourage you to do that So I thought I was going to be done and then I decided to add in some of the darker florals from the Sophisticated Floral Sticker Book to kind of contrast the rose gold just a little bit. And so I just added a few of them. I didn't add a ton of them, but I think it turned out really nicely and I actually love this spread. I love these colors. They are so gorgeous together. Neutral vibes. Like I just, I love it paired with that rose gold. Mm, so, so good. Okay, so I do have another tip for you guys. You guys will see me do it here in just a second. I have an old iTunes card. 
And if you've been following me for a long time, you know this tip that I have. But I know that I get a lot of new people, so I want to share it again. But I have this old iTunes card that I've had for years. And I use it, and I go over top of my clear stickers. Here's said iTunes card. And if you take something with a hard edge, you can use um, a card, you can use uh, a disc if you wanted to, wash it, like it doesn't matter, whatever you have, just something hard that you can go over top of those clear stickers. It makes that like, it's not bubbles underneath it, but I still don't have words for this. It's like that, it looks like a film, I guess, underneath of that clear sticker. And if you take something hard and you go over top of it, that helps eliminate that film and that's really, really helpful whenever you take photos. And I know we talked earlier about like, you know, don't be stressing out about your photos, but that is one thing that is fixable. Now with the gold foiling, I can't help you there. I, I struggle with taking those photos, but as far as the clear stickers, if you just go over them with something hard, um, it does make that kind of film bubbly thing go away. Now I know it, sh it shows it here, but I'm also using a bright ring light. So um, you'll still be able to see them, but whenever you take your photos for Instagram, it does make that go away once you edit them. All right, my friends, question of the video. What planner layout would you like to see me try? Just drop it in the comments and let me know and I will be happy to give it a go and show you how I use that specific layout. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.